Welcome to Blackbridge Sound, your friendly neighborhood home recording channel. Today we are going to be taking the worst drum mic technique for a spin. Not the worst, like it's the worst technique. It's called the worst technique. Yeah, it's like W-U instead of W-O. Yeah. So the worst drum mic technique, basically all you do is you put a single SM57, this you guy could, here. You could use something that's not a 57, but like same style sure. of mic anyways. Basically you just use a single mic and you kind of place it between the floor tom and the rack tom facing the snare. The idea of that is it's kind of right in the mix of where like your drums are positioned and all that, so you're gonna kind of get an equal balance yeah. Of all the drums. So. Supposed to get it kind of an equal distance from the snare yeah. and the floor tom and the rack tom all at the same time. Yes. So we're going to be taking a look at this mic in the worst position. We're also... <laughs> That's a fucking chuckle, eh? <laughs> so we're going to be taking a look at this mic in the worst position. And we're also going to add in the Glyn Johns technique overheads way along with a kick drum mic. Yeah, so two overheads and a kick drum mic. And we'll also take this mic out of that mix so you can really see what it adds to it, you know? Mm -hmm. We're gonna put it in the worst position and the best position. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Let's hear how it sounds. Let's go. <laughs> So, the worst drum mic technique. What'd you think, bud? Well, it's not the worst drum mic technique, I'll tell you that. No, definitely not. I thought it actually was pretty cool. Like, it definitely picked up like a nice balance of everything, just being right there. I did like, like if you have like a single mic in a room, you can just place anywhere. A lot of times what you get is you get a lot more cymbals, that high end from the cymbals, and it kind of washes it out a little bit. I found that since where it was positioned, kind of between the drums, it was right in the mix of where the drums are. So you actually get a bit more drums than you get of cymbals, which I thought was actually really cool. I'd say that's the optimal place to put a microphone if you only have one microphone to record drums. Yeah, I did find it was a little lacking in the cymbals though. So I don't know if I would use like just the single mic. Like, yeah, but if that's your only option though, if you have one mic to record, that's probably the spot to put it. Unless you want just all cymbal washing out your, your drum sound there. Yeah, it depends what you're going for, I guess. You're going for a good sound. Well, maybe you want some cymbals, I don't know. No, we don't want those cymbals. I kind of want some symbols. No, no symbols. A little bit of symbols. Okay, a little bit of symbols. All right. Anyways, it's been used by a lot of people. I th I've seen it called a few things online. It's, a, it's actually it's actually not worst. It's actually versed. The versed. The versed technique. Well, this is the versed time we tried out the worst technique, and yeah. I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> but we want to know what you think about the worst or the first or the brat worst miking placement technique there. Let us know, maybe you've tried it out yourself. Maybe you've tried it in a different spot. 
Let us know how cool we are. Let us know if we are the worst home recording channel on YouTube. Let us know if we are the best. We just want to hear from you. Hit us up there online, you fine folks. You look great out there. Hope you're having an awesome day. Stay out of jail. Yeah, I've seen some stuff on... Fuck, you done scratching your neck, bud? Fuck. <laughs>